I often hear some of my neuroscience colleagues say that the scientific view of how the brain works today disproves the concept of the soul. And I would agree on something. And that is if all we think of as the soul is sort of the ghost in the machine, as the spirit that animates mind and body, then it's true that scientific explanations of brain thought and behavior would indeed threaten the soul. But a truly spiritual soul would not be part of the matter and substance of the brain any more than God is material. And therefore, I think, as a religious person properly understood, the soul is not material, and the fact that we cannot detect it materially doesn't disprove its existence. So the key question, if we want to consider the soul, is what, is the pur what are the purposes are served by the concept of the soul in Christian theology? I would quickly say there's three. That is the immortality of the self, um, the freedom to make independent choices, um, and the hope of redemption. Um, all of these, in a sense, are non-material. And I would say that a mind based in matter, and that's what I think we have, is not a contradiction of any of these theological imperatives, and therefore the advance of neuroscience doesn't threaten or disprove the concept of the soul. Um, I would argue further that a material neuroscience devoted to the study of the mind is not hostile to religious faith, and faith does not have to be hostile to neuroscience. If it bothers you to see the idea of personhood embodied in the mere matter of the brain, take this from C.S. Lewis. God likes matter, he invented it. <laughs>